Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is me without any eyebrows and you're watching a whole series on drag makeup essentials. So this is the second video and today we're talking about foundation. So no matter what kind of drag queen foundation you want to use, the first thing you should use is a primer. So what is the use of a primer actually? Because you know, you cannot really see it. Primer is a product that prepares your skin for the next step, which is foundation. So a primer is a little bit color correcting, it fills out your pores, and it just makes your skin appear smoother and softer, which also makes the application of the makeup easier and just makes it flawless. All right, so the next step is foundation, and I'm using the product that is, I guess, most commonly used among all drag queens here and there and everywhere. It's the TV Paint Stick by Kryolan. You've seen this 20 million times everywhere and also in my videos, and today I'm just going to give you some extra tips for the usage of this baby. First of all, Kryolan Paint Stick is a cream product that is kind of hard because there is so much pigment in it. So if you warm it up a little bit with your blow dryer, the application is way easier. So first I'm spreading out the paint stick over my face in like small kind of dots. And I'm not using too much all over the face, I'm just using a generous amount all over the area where my beard grow is, but the rest of my face, mm, don't use too much of it. It's really covering up. And then I'm having a little trick for you. I'm using a liquid foundation. This is Urban Decay's All Nighter Foundation, but you can basically use any foundation that you want. And I put a pump on the back of my hand and I'm using the brush that I will use to blend my foundation in, like my paint stick in. And because paint stick is kind of thick and it's kind of hard to really blend it in softly, I'm going in with the foundation and I will show to you how different it is to blend a face with foundation and paint stick or just with paint stick. So let's start with the foundation on my cheek. All right, so now the brush is dry and I'm going to show you how it is without the uh, foundation. So the difference is here it was faster and easier to blend the paint stick in. Here it wasn't so fast. Also, it's not that easy to get into like really small areas with the paint stick when it's just applied on its own. So I hardly suggest everybody who uses a paint stick, just dab your brush into your regular foundation or any liquid foundation and then dab on the foundation while blending your paint stick. This just makes a whole lot of a difference. And also the finish is just softer and smoother than if you use the paint stick alone. All right, so after blending the products together once, I prefer to blend everything all over my face in twice, just to be sure and make everything even smoother and even softer and just blend it to perfection. So I'm just using my flat top kabuki brush and I'm dabbing in the product all over my face again. So far so good and the next step is a little bit of concealer just to get rid of any under eye discoloration or darkness. So first I'm using a small and angled brush to dab the concealer in on the area that is closest to my eye. And then I'm just going over all the other areas that have concealer on with my flat top kabuki brush to blend the concealer together with the rest of the foundation.
So if your concealer and your foundation are blended together for good, then you can either set everything now with a setting powder, bake it and continue with some powder contouring or you can go in with cream contouring in your wet foundation and this is exactly what I'm going to show you in the next video of Drag Essentials. So keep on watching.